Welcome, everybody. I just want to introduce uh, Dave Hijek, our new baseball coach at UCCS. Uh, super excited to have a baseball program here at uh, University of Colorado Springs. Uh, mountain Lions are way overdue to have baseball. Um, truth is, I've been catching grief ever since I came back here as athletic director, as a former high school and semi-pro baseball player here in Colorado Springs myself, and a lot of my old teammates and people in the community have been pushing for baseball for quite a while. Um, had a great uh, number of people apply for the job. I think we had about 282 applic applicants. We had Division II head coaches who had won conference championships, uh, Division Three coaches who had won conference championships, junior college, a lot of Division One assistant coaches. Uh, but when it all came out in the wash, uh, Dave was obviously the, the choice for us to start the program here at UCCS. His uh, background, experience, knowledge of the game, uh, his connections all over the country, not just in Colorado, but in places that, Col that UCCS recruits already in other sports, especially California, Arizona, uh, Texas. Um, we think it's going to be a great fit here at UCCS. And I can tell you right now, I'm super excited to have Dave as our coach. Thanks, Steve. Um, yeah, I'm just, uh, I don't really have a big speech prepared, but I do want to thank a few people. Number one is uh, Steve Kirkham, the athletic director here, for uh, the, giving me this opportunity to uh, head up this new program. Chancellor Shockley, uh, she, was, she was wonderful during the interview process, and, and the whole athletic department staff, uh, really helpful, beneficial to me. Um, they were inquisitive. They wanted to know about me, and I wanted to know about their program as well. And, and it was a great, uh, a great process to go through with the athletic program here. And um, I'm excited. I'm excited to, uh, for this opportunity. Um, I've never had this chance before. I've never done anything like this before to build a program from the ground up. It's, uh, it's a thrilling opportunity, and to be able to do it here in my hometown, um, just truly honored to uh, be the first head coach here. Um, I'd like to thank the Rockies organization. You know, they gave me an opportunity to, to coach in the profession that I love for 12 years, and they were great, very supportive of me. Um, gave me an, uh, also the opportunity to coach here at home with the Sky Sox. I was very blessed to, uh, to be able to do that, and uh, coaching in professional baseball, that's not something that you get very often to be able to coach at home, so that was a, it was a great opportunity. Um, like Steve mentioned, I developed a lot of contacts through those 12 years of coaching professional baseball, all of the coaches that I worked with work with young men in the off season. They work with uh, amateur players, high school and college players. So, you know, everybody that I've known through the Rocky system and outside of that is has already been on the phone with me talking about players and, and, and you know, so this this recruiting process that we're that we're in right now is is exciting and it started and, and you know, that's, that's the number one thing is we got to get the word out there that UCCS has a baseball program. It's going to be a, a great program. The athletic department has the full support of it. And like Steve mentioned, it's, it's long overdue here. This university is, is growing very fast. And uh, we've got a lot of students here and a lot of ta talented athletes are already in the student body and, and a lot more want to come uh, hopefully in the short term next year. So we're going to do a, the best we can to go out and find them and, uh, and get be competitive right away. You know, that's one thing they talked to, to me about uh, during the interview process is we don't want to just fill a baseball program and call it a baseball program. We want to be competitive in the RMAC, and, and I'm all for that, and that's, that's our goal. We're going to try to compete for conference championships just like all these other sports do that are already here, and that's going to be exciting to, to be a part of that right out of the gate, you know, a, a department that wants success and they're willing to back that up and support that and uh, do whatever we can to, to make that happen. I also like to thank my family. You know, they're all here, my mom and dad, my significant other Heather and her daughter Haley and my daughter Mallory have all uh, come out today to support me and it's, uh, it's gonna be an honor, it's gonna be a blessing to be able to coach with them close by. And that's about it. All right, <laughs> guess we'll open up for questions now. Um, a team culture, unselfish players that want to be a part of something bigger than themselves, uh, motivated young men that want to come in and, and develop themselves in the community with, uh, in, in the college atmosphere, pursue their degree and, and play for each other. That's the culture that we're trying to develop. You know, you, you hear a lot of teams and leaders of teams talk about that and it's a difficult task. 
you know, you're, you're getting young men that are coming from all over the country to try to bond together in a short period of time. And it's, it's going to be a difficult challenge, but that's what we're going to try to create right away. And you know, it is the first season. What would you consider a success for the first season? Uh, conference championship. That would be success. You know, winning the first game would be ideal. You know, certainly getting, out, getting off to a good start. Um, but you know what? I think anything's going to be a success, quite honestly. We, we, we're going to get, a, get a, a group of young men together that are going to, uh, going to be a big part of this community and, and go out and compete. And whatever happens is going to be a success. But we certainly want to win more games than we lose, that's for sure. It's an honor, you know. It, it's a big honor. Um, I, I was very fortunate enough to play for a, a, a truly pioneer and um, a legend, if you will, in the Division II coaching ranks, uh, John Scalinas, back in California at Cal Poly Pomona. Um, so there's no way I can fill in the footsteps of what he's done. But you know, to say you're the first at anything, that's a big deal. And to be the first coach here in a community that, that will, is, is very supportive and will be very supportive of this program, it's an honor. And these young men are going to know that. They're going to know that they are the first and to come, and they are uh, braving the trail for, for young men to come in behind them and, and build success for the future as well. Um, getting my name in front of uh, other coaches in the state, other coaches in the region that are trying to get their players um, opportunities at the next level, and that's high school and junior college coaches. And I've, uh, I've already been online. There's, there's great recruiting websites nowadays that they weren't there even just a few years ago that is really has a huge network. And through that, I've already talked to just a couple guys that, that are really helping me spread the word. So. You know, it's just getting the name out there that the, there's another option for baseball in this area. And it's a great option. You know, it's an option that's going to get these young men good educations and, and an opportunity to get some quality coaching and develop their, their, themselves on the baseball side as well. I'd like to just interject one thing. A lot of people don't understand the Rocky Mountain Athletic Conference is actually, we, we call it the ACC of Division II athletics. Uh, Mesa State baseball, I call it Mesa State, still it's Carter Mesa now, but uh, they played in the national championship game a year ago. Uh, we won a uh, cross country championship again this year. I think the Army has won uh, 62 national championships. Jared could correct me if I'm wrong in the last uh, 20 years in all, in all sports pretty much across the board. So. Uh, we expect all of our programs to compete at that level and to have baseball come in and, and be able to compete in the first year in the Rocky Athletic Conference would, uh, would show that we made the right decision with our coach. It's going to take a lot of hard work. Recruiting is the lifeblood in collegiate athletics. And Division II, we give scholarships just like Division I. And if you're not uh, on the trail, recruiting trail, and looking under every rock and trying to find that, that uh, diamond in the rough that you can develop, along with the superstars that you might be able to get to stay in Colorado Springs or Colorado, um, but we expect Dave, that's the reason we hired Dave, we expect him to come in here and make uh, mountain lion baseball something that can compete in the RMAC right away. Is that good, Jared? I always rely on Jared. He's my, the sports formation director runs the show. I'm just no questions, Jared? <laughs> no questions out of Jared? You got, we got He's covered it? I think so. Clyde, any questions? <laughs> Are you going to be at baseball games? <laughs> nice. Uh, Clyde is everywhere now. <laughs> Love it. We like it. Well, thanks for coming, everybody. Appreciate it. Yep. Thank you. See you at the first game. Yep. Thank you. It's good. Thank you.